of bitch. What? It doesn't taste like chocolate. Are about to get this party started by finding out who is on the show tonight. Oh, look who it is, ladies and gentlemen, from Deadly Games. Alfredo Silva is in the house. Thank you so much for being here. And come on, Bravo Delta, Brandon and Andy are here. Thank you guys so much for being here. We need to talk a little bit about the knives. While we do that, you guys get to check out this recycled sketch. Y'all might know me as Baby Bear, but I'm all grown up now. My friends call me Angry Bear now. Why? It started when I was young. I was just growing up, trying to be the best bear I could be. And then we got this unwanted, unannounced guest coming to our door. I mean, there I was, just, just, just being a little bear. You know what I'm saying? All right, wait, All right, you know what? Let me calm down and let me explain myself before I maul somebody up in here. I had the best life growing up. I had the best moms, the best pops. I had the best food you could ever eat, the best bed that any bear could ever want. And one day my mom comes in, she wakes me up. Baby bear, baby bear, come on, get up your pops and I got a surprise for you. We go on a hike, yes, it's my birthday. We go on a hike, so I was like, let's do it. Cause I love taking hikes out in the forest, right? It was the best day that mother nature ever made. I mean, the flowers was all blooming and the sky was all blue and those big old billowy clouds. Man, we had a good time that day. So then we get back home, right? Somebody broke in our house. They destroyed furniture, they ate all the food. I'm looking around. And she is in my bed. That blonde hair, blue eyed bitch is in my bed. Hey, where the forest police? Oh, oh, the forest police ain't coming? Why? Cause I'm brown? <sighs> anyway, my parents was like, oh, we feel so bad for this little blonde haired girl. She can stay. But where's she gonna sleep? My bed. Where do I sleep? On the floor next to her. I couldn't even eat until everybody else ate because there was only three bowls and three spoons. This blue-eyed, blonde-haired bitch is driving me crazy, and I had to grow up like that. So now, I probably got, got blonde-haired, blue-eyed bitch syndrome. Yo, I, I might need medication for that. Yo, angry. My boys is calling me. I gotta go. But keep this in mind. Lock your doors, man. Lock your doors. Because that blonde-haired, blue-eyed bitch might still be out there. Peace. Hug life. Welcome to the We Funny Comedy Show here at the Inspire. Oh! Welcome to the Will Edwards Show. Our special guests are currently competing on America's Got Talent. Take a look. Hi, welcome. And who are you, please? My name is Alfredo. I'm 34 years old. And you are? Amana. And I'm 32 years old. And I'm his wife. So how long have you been married, you two? We've been together for almost eight years, but we've been married for a little over two years. So from where you started and now you're here today, has it been easy or have you had tough times? 
is being a very difficult road, you know? Knife throwing act is one of the most old acts. A lot of people do this. You know, we try to make something different from something really old. When I say, did things go wrong, I think you know what I'm referring to. <laughs> I know. Um, I hit her twice. <laughs> OK, so basically, without stating the obvious, this is really, really dangerous. It's dangerous. I can kill her if I throw the, uh, the knife maybe one or two millimeters too close, hit her neck. She's the one pushing me to do the crazier tricks, believe me or not. Really? really? Okay, well, look, good luck. Thank you very much. from Deadly Games, Alfredo Silva. How are you, sir? Doing very good, thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. Man, America's Got Talent, that's exciting. Yes, very much. You guys are doing some pretty scary stuff. Am I? I don't, for me, I, for me <laughs> it's pretty scary. But... Yeah, that's, if you're doing scary, we're good. Okay, good. In the right way. If, I, if I'm like this, oh, I'll do the whole video, it's okay. It's okay. Now, you didn't just wake up one day and go, hey, you know what, I'd love to just throw some knives today, and then the, the act began. That would be amazing, but not. <laughs> it didn't happen that way. But your family is, you're from a circus family? Yes, I'm a sixth generation circus performer wow. from my father's side. Oh, wow. So, born, grew up in the circus, seeing people doing crazy things, and playing like a little kid. One day I'm the juggler, the next day I'm the trapeze artist, and the next day they stunt knife throwing, globe of death, and all that stuff. So it was a fun childhood. Globe of death for a child? Yes, I was about <laughs> nine years old when I, I started to do the globe of death, yes. Wow. Yes, let me just family. Let me tell you what I was doing at nine years old. <laughs> it wasn't the globe of death. It was not. <laughs> it was not. What was wrong with you? <laughs> I know, right? I, right. I ask myself that all the time. But um, so when you started throwing knives, how old were you at that point? Well, you know, I tried different techniques until the age of 12, and then my grandfather and my father showed me the, the knife throwing because uh, the godfather of my sister actually was one of the best knife throwers in Brazil. Oh, wow. And they thought it was a fun act, you know, but I was like, oh, that's too old. I don't like this anymore. But actually, I love the old acts, you know, they're very crazy, very dangerous, and you need a lot of skills to do them. So why not? So I learned the knife throwing, I quit for a while, and then I met Anya. We used to do a magic show together. Oh, okay. Long story short, I come up with the idea. Say, Anya, let's do the knife throwing act together. She says yes right away. What? R right? She's the crazy one. I'm telling you, everybody. <laughs> they don't believe me. <laughs> they don't believe me. She's crazy. She has no fear. She says, yes. Okay, show me what you can do. So 
We put a lot of hard work into it. After two years just training, we come up with the Deadly Game Act. Wow. That is that's that is pretty incredible. And and obviously these are the these are the knives that you use in the Correct. act. Yes. They very pointing, the real. A lot of people still ask me this question. Do you really throw the knives? Believe me or not, they do ask. They think the knives pop from pop behind from the, the board, behind, but it does not. It's visual, but it's not. Because, you know, sometimes I can't agree with them. The level that we put this act, some tricks are in unbelievable, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so uh, America's Got Talent. So America's you, you talent. get onto, you, you're on to America's Got Talent, and, uh, and something unfortunate happens during one of the acts. You know, we were there just doing our thing. Nothing too much, you know, just throwing knives at my wife. <laughs> Another day at the office for us. Exactly. So first round, perfect. You know, we got to go to the judge cuts. And then on the second round, we come back with the spinning board of death. So we were doing the dress rehearsal. Hang, hang on group. a second. I, everything is, has death in it in, with, with, with you. Is this? I didn't come up with the name, though, you know. <laughs> I would do the spin board of happiness okay. if I could. Oh, that would be nice. But Yeah, actually it would. But the but spinning board of death. On the dress rehearsal, the bearing, it, it broke. Oh, so the gosh. board collapsed from the tripod with Anya on it. Oh, no. So I put Anya on the board. I spent her as fast as I could. I'm timing it. And when I throw the first knife, the bearing broke. It locked, jumped out of the tripod to the floor, and started to tilt, and almost crashed on top of Anya. So oh, I was very lucky that I had the reflexes to stop the stop board. Stop the board from falling. And we avoid something really worse. But yeah, it was really scary at that oh, moment. That is very scary. We're going we're gonna to take a quick break. But when we come back, we're going to talk a little more about America has got talent how the experience is, For what sure. these judges are saying, and uh, and then we're going to encourage everybody to vote. You yes, have to vote. Please, please vote please. for Deadly Games. Vote. We'll be right back. If you're looking for something fun and different to eat here in Las Vegas, I think it's time for you to try Stir Crazy Mongolian Grill. You get to choose from your meat, from beef, chicken, pork, turkey. Okay. So whatever you like, just pile up whatever meat you like. You can mix and match. We chop our own vegetables fresh daily as well. Pop some red bell peppers in there, mushrooms. And once you've chosen your toppings, we come down here and most popular is our noodles. Mm. We have to stock these up all day long. One of our sesame oil helps cook on the grill. You're, you're good to go. Good to go. Let's see how they cook it. You just bring to the chefs. They're gonna stir fry our food on the grill. The grill 650 degrees. Nice. So they will cook it up. Alfredo Silver from Deadly Games. America's Got Talent. That has to be a really cool experience. It's the huge stage for any performer. Yeah. Singer, danger, comic, whatever you do, America's Got Talent is huge. So once you get on there, you just you just kind of blow up a little bit. Yes, for sure. You know, but the thing is, it's a lot of competition, a lot of good people there. They're not just people trying to start something. Sure. There's people that have been doing this for a while. You gotta be on top of your game. Wow. Wow, so you, 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 you get past the, the first uh, audition and now you're in front of the judges. What are the judges saying? You know, it, I mean, I've been doing this for a while and performing in front of those four judges, man, you know, you get me the, the, <laughs> the heebie-jeebies, you know? It's, it, you can't have the heebie-jeebies throwing knives. I can't, that's the thing, you know? I have to be cold-blooded and do that, like, I just like I brush my teeth, they gotta be, you know, yeah, let's yeah, do just, this. But Simon Cowell is there, man. I'm a big fan of that guy. You yeah, know, yeah. he's huge in the business. Heidi Klum, I mean, she's beautiful, amazing. She knows about show business. Yes. You know, all the same. Howie, you know, Mel B. And you're like kind of, wow, this is huge. Let's not mess, let's no, let's not not mess up that one, <laughs> exactly, you know? Exactly. So 
we get this opportunity with both hands and we're not gonna let it go believe nice. me you know we're trying it's beyond our, what we can do because yeah. this is our it's a life uh, it's a lifetime chance this one you know and a lot of positive things coming from even simon of all people. No, the comments we've been receiving for them, he says that we are a world-class act. I nice. mean, he says that we are the best in our category, which is the variety show. Yes, yes, yes. What else can we have? You know, I mean, that's it. We're so happy that we get there, you know? So now it's just keep going harder and harder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you have to come. And the, here's the thing about this. you got to come back better than the last time. And it's unlike anything else. You know, you if you have a show somewhere, you do your show, you do your show each time. But now you have to come back hard. You have to come back and be better than you were last week or, or two weeks before, right? Better, you gotta create new things, things you haven't done yet. You're not sure if it's gonna work or not. <laughs> And with the kind of job that we have, we have to make it work. How, many, how, uh, how much time do you have to come up with the new act and then, and then perform it? Okay, so we had about a month to come up with this new act with the blindfolded. And then we have another month to come up with our semi-finals audition. Wow, so you, are, you guys are in it now, right? Now. You're in it. We just got voted through the semi-finals, which is amazing. Congratulations. Thank you very Congratulations. much. Congratulations. Yeah. What, what does everybody have to do to make sure we, uh, we see you win this thing? You just got to vote. You know, Deadly Games, you can vote. You can call the number. You can use Google. You can use NBC.com. That is an application on your phone. You can download it and keep T voting. Deadly Tons Games, Deadly Games. Just vote, vote, Just vote, vote. And, and, and more votes. And more votes. Well, here's what I think we should do. I think that, um, I, I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for oh, coming. Thank you. Here's what I think we should do. We're gonna, we're gonna take a, a break, but I think you should just throw uh, knives at, at Lee. I think we should, could, uh, we could use the wall over there. Yeah, just throw knives at Lee. Yeah, let's do this. He'll be okay. Like Can you it. do that? Yeah, for sure. Let's... We appreciate that. Hey, we'll... Lee, I like you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. All right. <laughs> Here at TC's Rib Crib, we are all about family. If you're looking for the best barbecue in Las Vegas, look no further. And of course, we serve all of the traditional sides. Why not enjoy some fresh brewed sweet tea or Kool-Aid? That's right, Kool-Aid. Oh, and you're gonna wanna save some room for dessert. We're open seven days a week, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. We offer great weekday lunch specials and TC's opens early on weekends for the best down-home breakfast in the Valley. Join our family tradition at TC's Rib Crib for a barbecue experience that will keep you coming back for more. Our musical guest is the band Bravo Delta, and they are in the studio. It's Brandon and Andy. Hi, guys. I'm good, man. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing? I'm great. Thank you for having us. Ah, oh, without a doubt. Hey, tell us a little bit about the band. What's going on? Man, uh, we've been a band almost five years now, uh, based here in Las Vegas. We actually just released a new single last month called Virus. Um, it's available at all major retailers, iTunes, Amazon, everywhere. Um, you can also find it at bravodeltamusic.com. Um, and we released a video for it as well on YouTube um, the same day that we released the song. So uh, we're going to be checking that out here in just a second. But, uh, yeah, so we're excited about that. No, it's, it's great. It's great. And I think I heard that you guys have a show uh, tomorrow. It's actually tomorrow, yeah, on the 19th of August um, at Backstage Bar and Billiards downtown. Um, we're playing with a band called Red Jumpsuit Apparatus. They've been around forever. A long time. Amazing band. Um, but yeah, tickets are 15 bucks. It's a 21 and over show, um, but you can find information um, at bravodeltamusic.com. All right. Well, you guys got to get down there and check out the band. Right now, we're going to check out the music video for Virus.
Cox has people talking here in Southern Nevada. We asked those people who use Cox the most to tell us why they love Cox. Before I got Cox, my employees thought I was a real bitch. But now that I have Cox, I'm well rested, I'm happy, and I'm successful. I guess you can say, I love Cox. I was unsatisfied for so many years, and then a friend introduced me to Cox, and it has changed my life for the better. I love Cox. Every time I think about Cox, I get a big smile on my face. No one out there services you like Cox. I'm not ashamed to say it. I like Cox. I love Cox. Cox, your friend with benefits in the digital age. We want to thank you guys for tuning in uh, to the Will Edwards Show. We also want to thank our special guest from Deadly Games. We want to thank Alfredo Silva for being here. And you guys need to vote because it would be very cool if those guys win America's Got Talent. We also want to thank our musical guest, Bravo Delta, for being in the house and bringing in their music video. And um, we thank all the folks here at Show Creator Studios for helping us make a pretty nice show here in Las Vegas. We'll see you guys next time, right here on The Will Edwards Show. Cheers.